welcome back everyone to Mount and Blade Warband as the Faith Militant. In the last episode, we had a great victory during the Siege of Lannisport. And with that, we have uh, basically cleaned the mainland of Westeros from the Ironborn. But uh, we have yet to take the Iron Islands themselves. And I've been thinking about what we should do. Should we, you know, go home um, and replenish our forces, restock our supplies and so on and so forth. And uh, maybe even more importantly, let our bannermen um well replenish as well but then i decided you know what we currently have this huge army assembled and it would take a long time to you know for everyone to go back home tend to their families and whatever and i don't want that to happen we need to push the advantage right now we have uh, a few very important prisoners we have a quick look at our party here we've got the captain of the iron fleet victorian greyjoy we've got theon greyjoy imprisoned uh, a good brother and various other men uh, in dragonstone and hall I i'm not exactly sure how many iron island lords we have captured but yeah it is quite a few so i think we should uh, press the advantage and um I've also been thinking about which, which well, island to attack first. Now, Salt Cliff doesn't have a castle, so it wouldn't make much sense to attack this one. Um, Black Tide is quite far away. Um, kind of, I mean, it's kind of the same with Old Wick and Orkmund. So it's really uh, one of the, the three big ones. Great Wick, uh, Harlaw, or Pike. And I think I, I want to just attack this the seat of power of House Greyjoy spot on. During the Greyjoy Rebellion, basically, Robert um, attacked all the other islands before uh, taking Pike. But I think we'll, I think we'll do it differently. I think we'll attack all of the islands. We'll take uh, Pike first. We'll attack the others: Greatwick, uh, Hala. Then we'll take Orkmund, Then Black Tide. And last but not least, we'll take Oldwick because that is where that that's the holy place, the holiest place for the worshippers of the Drowned God. So I feel like for our motive, you know. Uh, converting the iron islands this makes the most sense so pike is not going to be the grand finale the grand finale will be wick hall um and naga's hill at least that's the plan so uh, we're gonna make our way but before we do that uh, a few of our uh, king's guard and uh, well our leader of the poor fellas have actually upgraded and so i think we should uh, talk to them a little bit about their skills before we uh, move on to the iron Islands. so septon tier has Increase now. I definitely want to give him some more strength because if I give him more strength, he will be able to to uh, yeah to wear a better armor. But um, I, I'm going to give him one more agility for now, just so that we can increase his weapon master, because um, that's kind of important. But next, the next uh, two levels, I'm going to put into strength. That's for sure. Okay, we're going to get a little, little bit of pull arms as well. The rest is fine. Then Sir Brendan Corbury, the White Raven himself. Let's talk about your skills as well. I think I'm actually going to give you a little bit more strength because I want you to be a better fighter and we'll give you some more power strike here as well. And yeah, most the only points I can really increase here is pole arm, so that's fine. And then lastly, we'll take to uh, we'll talk to our newest uh, addition to the King's Guard, Sir Baltasar Cole. Um, let's see what we can increase here. Now, you definitely have a lot to catch up uh, in terms of skill points. I'm thinking about intelligence. And yeah, basically, I just want to make you stronger. More power strike, more iron flesh. There you go. And I think we'll improve your uh, throwing. Yeah, because you do. Well, that wasn't really a whole lot, but yeah, I think throwing is the best. All right, looking pretty good. We've got a few men upgrading here as well. Oh, very nice. And a new Andal Warrior. Great to see. Great to see. And then, um, yeah, I think I will deal with this off camera. All right, so we're going to make our way to. Well, to Pike, as I said, this is the first one we'll crush and then Iron Hold and Lord Support. If we can take this out with our army, that would be great. But then we might actually have to move back to replenish. But at least taking out Pike, you know, would be a great start. So I'll see you uh, once, uh, once we've arrived. Most of our forces have managed to land on the island of Pike, and despite me saying that I actually want to take over the castle first, it makes sense to actually take the town, secure the town of Lordsport and the harbor first before we go uh, after Pike and uh, Ironhold. Now, it's very interesting, King Balon is in Pike himself. That would be incredible if we could capture him because, you know, we have his brother, we have his son, uh, and then taking Balon himself, that would certainly 
well, be a huge blow to the Iron Islands. Now, uh, one thing I gotta mention is that on our way here, we've been attacked by, I believe, four Ironborn Lords, and we've fought sea battles. They were incredibly, well, incredibly difficult to fight. The, pr the reason I didn't show you um, was because I have this weird bug where... Um, on sea battles, the army keeps reinforcing. I think I've brought this up before in the series. And, you know, it's not really a big problem if you only have, like, an army of 100 men. But we had an army of some 900 men. And it just kept reinforcing. And it was very close to actually having the game crash. And I think had I recorded, it probably would have just killed my machine. So, yeah. We, fortunately, I cannot show you this. But, uh, yeah, I gotta say, this has caused, I think, two of my lords to leave. We still have plenty of men, so I think we should be able to take Lordsport. Don't know if we're going to be successful here in Pike. We'll have to see, but it, it would be amazing. Now, during the fights, though, one uh, great thing that happened was, well, as you can see, our king has got quite injured, but um, Sir Lancel has actually upgraded. So let's, um, yeah, let's check out our character here. And I think I was going to give myself a little bit more intelligence, certainly. We can get Persuasion. Um, or tactics. Oh, yeah, tactics seems like that's something I definitely want. And I guess, yeah, you know what? We'll go for persuasion as well. Um, in fact, yeah, that's it. Yeah, there you go. Um, there's not really much we can upgrade in terms of weapon points, but I guess, yeah, I guess I'll just have to keep them for now. We might have to increase our agility as well. But it doesn't really matter at this point because now we're going to, uh, well, lay siege to Lord's put 250 men. Um, okay, yeah, we should be able to take them out relatively easily. At least, that's the plan. Uh, luckily, there's no siege towers here, so it's just ladders. Uh, we've got Brendan Tully here. Um, uh, yeah, Kevin Lannister, Jason Malister. So, yeah, we definitely have some really great commanders with us here. Um, now, if you remember, Lord Jason Malister, he actually slew, uh, Roderick Greyjoy during the Greyjoy Rebellion, the, the firstborn son, the eldest son of Balon. So, uh, kind of interesting to have him here with us now. Uh, Sarsfield has been besieged by John Amber of the North. Okay, so the Northern Lords are still threatening us. Uh, that's kind of interesting, but we're not going to deal with it right now. Um, I hope he doesn't take it, obviously, but for now, the Ironborn are our prime target. So, yeah, let's lead our men into an assault. Yep, let's go for it. Um, but I want... The King's Guard to follow me, and I want the most devout to hold back. And this, yeah, Stranger Servants here. I want the archers to hold back as well. Um, and we'll just see how that goes. Yeah, okay. So this is actually kind of an interesting castle. It looks really nice. You can see the harbor here. All right. And um, it has two ladders where we can get up. That's actually really good. That makes it a little bit easier to get into the castle at least. But we're already taking some incredible insanely incredible casualties wow jason master already went down oh that's too bad that is too bad ah so many reavers i think i'm gonna hold back a little bit with the king's guard no reason to get involved immediately in fact you know what i'm gonna actually send up sir fled because he's got a i mean he's just an amazing fighter he, he might be able to clear the walls for us and we'll uh we'll hold back with the archers um i mean we're slowly thinning out the walls so that's good I wonder what the interior looks like. Definitely, yeah, definitely want to wait for them to be occupied with someone else. Maybe Sir Baltasar is uh, actually going to hit someone with his axes. Well, he's still got to, you still got to, well, train that a little bit. That isn't exactly the best aim you've got there. All right, but uh, keep practicing, man. Keep practicing. You'll, you'll get there. You'll get there, Sir Baltasar. All right, now, the, uh... The last Reaver here is about to die. There we go. Very nice. The flood just took him out, I think. I think that means we can bring our archers in here. Pretty clear. All right. And uh, I got to say, I love I love this castle. It's quite different from what we're used to. Um, so it's a lot more fun. There's even a bat. Oh, there's even a ship battle going on. And there's various people staying there. Okay. Let's bring the archers over here. I think that's where they're most useful over here. Sir Fled, you, uh, you're doing your thing. That's fine. Okay, so we, our men are, have basically cleared out the ship. Uh, we've cleared the deck as well. We've cleared the, the, uh, the roof. And now what fighting is going on over there. Maybe I should just get involved too. Might be a bit too early though. Mm, okay, we got a few more men coming. Alright, that looks, that looks nice. Uh, is there someone left here? 
Looks like there's someone stuck here. I'm not exactly sure. Alright, there's nobody there. So this is all the men we need to fight. Okay. Oh, that could have been... This could have ended badly. Alright, uh, maybe the King's Guard can get involved here. That would actually be very useful. You, you better watch out. Oof. Can't, I can't seem to be able to fight him. Alright, well, luckily we've got a few kings got around. Oh, so Baltasar, very nice, taking out this man. Okay, and I'm, I'm stuck. Somehow not able to maneuver. Alright, well, whatever. Right, you are mine. You as well. Very great. I right, definitely want to take out this man. Someone leveled up. Sir Jonathan. Alright. Ooh, there's reinforcements coming. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, so Baltasar went down. And so Jonathan did as well. Okay, this is because a lot of my men are stuck here. What are you... What are you guys doing? Can I... Can I tell you something? Can I, can I tell you to go over here? Yeah, there's a lot of them stuck. Oh, there's someone down here. Ah, I see. Well, I'm afraid if I... If, if I tell you to charge in... Ah, that's problematic. So because of this glitched guy, um, I, I basically have to attack again. Uh, the problem is that, well, I can't kill him. As you can see, I'm actually dead. I, I somehow tried to get into the water, um, but I, I jumped off the boat. The only place I could jump off was over here, and then I fell way too far. Well, well, way too far. I'm not sure how this man actually got here, um, but I'm definitely not going to count this as a wound because, you know, that was just because of a bug. So I'm certainly not going to count that. Um, and I also believe, I mean, our men are literally stuck. They're not going to move. They're, they're, they're just standing there, all of them. I even tried to get our archers over here so they can maybe shoot them, but nothing worked. So at this point, I feel like I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to restart this, this siege in a sense and uh, will not count this as a wound. But yeah, um, Let's let's check out the well the overall casualties. We took, I mean, eighty eight to seventy six. We killed about a third of their uh, garrison. It's not too good, really. Um, but had we not been stuck there, we we would have probably been able to uh, deal a lot more damage. So yeah, there's not much you can do. Um, as I said, this will not be this will not be counted as a wound. Uh, we'll simply uh, move on and uh, try and besiege this another another time. So yeah, uh, I'll see you then. So we've just gotten a new weekly budget report. We're making some 34,000 gold. So yeah, we certainly don't have any money uh, issues anymore. So that's that's good to know. That's good to know. Let's move on. Uh, there's quite a few peasants around here, but that shouldn't concern us too much. A new lord has arrived. I think that may be a Malister. And William Mutin and Quincy Cox have changed their legions from the Riverlands. Okay, that's interesting. But that doesn't really concern us too much right now because once again, we'll have to lead our men into an assault and hopefully this time, cross your fingers, no one's going to get stuck. But the King's Guard, I will have following on me and the most devout hold back if we actually have any. Uh, this time, we're not met with the uh, Reavers on the walls. That's interesting. So I guess we killed off most of them already. They're, they've retreated to the inner circles of their castles, to the inner defenses. So we should be able to get up here with relative ease. Uh, the King's got this follow me. Who's who's here? Uh, Sir Jonathan's here. Sir Marlin. Sir Baltasar. Where is Sir Brynden? Ah, there he is. He's uh, coming a little bit uh, behind. That's okay. All right. Now, hopefully not too many of my men are going to get stuck here. I, I actually like this, this siege layout. It's, it's different. But, of course, if there's uh, people getting stuck, it's not that much fun. Alright, anyway, let's uh, move up. I'm actually going to bring over the archers as well. Last time, they were not as effective as I had hoped. In fact, what I will probably do, maybe I can bring the archers, I can put them to good use, and put them onto the boat here. In fact, they might, they might actually still be quite useful over there. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. And I will hold back a little bit, hopefully this time. It's, it seems like there's no one stuck there. Alright, good. Um, so, yeah, hopefully... Um, our men can just attack, and I will get in the action with the King's Guard as well. But 
only after our men have cleared out this ship and our archers, once our archers are actually in place. Alright, so I've decided to get in on the action myself. Uh, we have a few Kingsguard engaged already. We have also Septon Tier leading the, the poor fellas. He's right at the front. There he, there he is. Doing a good job. Uh, yes, he often goes down. Uh, that is true. But actually, he's he's having a blast right now. I think he's ca killed four men already. So, good good job there. Good job right there. And uh, new enemies have arrived. So, we've got to be careful that we're not being surrounded. Uh, Septon Robin uh, and his uh, Maiden Sentinels are giving us some archery support. And you know what? I think I'll just have the King's Guard uh, just attack. Oh, how did this guy manage to get here? Ah, well, he died before I really could do anything. So, that's that's fine, I guess. But we are going to be attacked from behind. So we, we de definitely got to clear this up quickly. And in fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to help out here. Just to give my man a bit of guidance. Ah, oh, Sir Fled. Very nice. Going on against two. Definitely want to help him out though. And this man, the last one on the on the wall here. He'll be, uh, he'll be taken out. Oh, wow. He's taken an arrow and a hit. Very nice. Now, I'm thinking about maybe even bringing up our archers here. And that could be useful too. But I think actually the position they have is, is pretty decent. So, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Uh, Septon Robin has leveled up. So I'm not really too surprising. There's many kills. And I definitely see still a few kings got around. Oh, I kinda, kinda, definitely got to be careful. I think, you know what? We're actually in a great position. Look at this. The archers are free to fire away. Um... Perfect. Perfect. In fact, you know what? I'm actually going to get out my two-ended sword. And maybe train that a little bit. Then the edge of battle. Just cut away at these. I know it. There you go. This is the Wrath of the Seven. Coming down on you. Oh. I got to be a little bit careful, though. Ah, yeah, okay, well, it seems like they now have basically just their weaker forces. So, Baltasar, very good with his two-handed axe there. He seems to prefer his two-handed axe over his one-handed, um, which is fine. Alright, very good. Um, there's still more Kingsguard left. Very cool. In fact, I'm going to have you follow me, Kingsguard. Don't need to be at the very front. Uh, so, Flad as well. Still around. Okay, very nice. So, Baltas, are you throwing these axes? Come on, let, let me let me see you score a hit. Uh, in fact, just 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 attack, help out our men. <laughs> very good. Yeah, they're basically just bolstering our forces. Ooh, and one of them got singled out. It was Sabrindin. Ooh, yeah. Well, you gotta be careful about that. Ooh, I've got the wrong weapon. All right, there you go. All right, I definitely got to have to drop this because <laughs> that was uh, was actually quite, pretty dangerous right there. All right, I'm not sure how well our king's got to doing. I think we're basically being overrun right now. I'm not sure if we can hold them off long enough. I think I might have to... Oof, there goes our king's guy. I'm going to have to retreat this because we're... Oof. Wow, they're coming. They're coming after me. Okay, so our archer's going to get attacked, pretty sure, but we are getting reinforcement. Uh, wow. Can they can I just hold out long enough? Septon Robin right at the front. Ah, uh, they might. Yeah, okay. I think our reinforcements have arrived just in time. Um, to at least save our archer forces. They they want to retake the uh, ship, which we can't we can't let that happen. All right, there you go. So there, this way, actually, you guys get a little bit of a sea battle as well. I mean, <laughs> more like a harbor battle, but, you know, that's uh, that's good enough already, I guess. Okay, how many men have we killed so far? 112, and the enemy has 14 left. Right, 40 are wounded, so that's 150. We killed 70 in the other assault, so this might be their last 13 men. That's actually very possible. Yep. And how many losses have we got? Not as many. Yeah, we certainly did much better this time around than, uh, than the first assault. So let's uh, finish off these men. And there's the last one. About to be killed. Yes! 
And that means Lord's Port is ours. Great news, great news indeed. Alright, so, now a lot of our commanders went down. Uh, we saw the Kings got holding off the enemies bravely. Basically, they were, um, you know, they were sacrificing themselves so that our archers, you know, had a chance to survive. Uh, that was actually, that was actually pretty important that they held them off so long, because had they, had they fallen earlier, um, or faster, I think our reinforcements would not have been able to arrive in time. But yeah, so great job on the King's Guard. Um, other than that, we haven't really, I mean, we lost a few Andal Warriors, uh, and Knight here and there, but that's not too bad. I think our allies, uh, yeah, took most of the casualties here, so... Yeah, there you go. Uh, the enemies took, yeah, basically just wiped them out completely. And um, as for kill count, we've got Septon tier with five kills. So flat with four. Wow, okay. Septon added with four wounds uh, as well. Septon Rom with six kills, leveling up. Uh, Marlin got two kills. Sir Brendan Baltasar with three kills. And Sir Jonathan the Lord Commander with four kills as well. Very nice. Everyone delivered basically. And we now get to fill up our army. I will do that. I will maybe also take some prisoners. And then we will move on to Pike. And hopefully take over that castle. And take the king capture. Or captive, I guess. Yeah. So as always, I deferred appointment uh, for now. And I also obviously did not plunder uh, the castle. Uh, we managed to take a few men prisoner. As well as add up our own... Uh, army um from the from the prisoners and now we're even going to be able to replenish our uh well <laughs> our food so let's basically just buy all all the fish and i think we're also going to just take all the bread um that's that's fine that should at least see us through the conquest of pike uh money is not an issue so we can just go for it um i don't think anything else is necessary right now we'll just leave for now lord's put is ours there is haras hala somehow he is free. I guess he has been set free at some point. Yeah, uh, that's very possible. We've got ooh, some elite veil long bowmen. Maybe I w actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take these 12 men out of the garrison because I mean, elite veil long bowmen, they are pretty good. How many do we have? 55. Okay, definitely don't want to take any more than that, uh, but that's okay. Also, Septon Robin and Sir Jonathan Day have both leveled up, so let's talk to them. Uh, can't do that here, though. Let's uh, talk check out a party and talk from here now for septon robin um i was going for the agility right yeah just to give him more more weapon master really that's that's the point yeah so we can increase his archer even further great and i actually also have made some loot quite a while ago um some pretty nice arrows these piercing arrows they are giving eight plus eight damage so they're a little bit better than the heavy arrows only 22 um, but that's okay, actually, that's actually, yeah, so we can switch out the regular arrows for the piercing arrows. And they also had this bow, a masterwork flat bow, giving 37, 3 more damage, and it has 5 less accuracy, though, and plus 1 speed. So this is 3 damage plus 1 speed, uh, versus basically... 5 accuracy. I'm not sure which one is better, honestly. I can't I can't say. This one is more expensive, so I imagine this one's better. But uh hmm. Uh decorated longbow masterwork. Decorated. You know, I'm actually going to switch it out and we'll just Oh, you can't even use it. All right. Well, I guess that explains it. Ah, requires power draw of 7. That's uh pretty impressive. All right. Well, then that's fine for now. And then uh, we'll talk to our Lord Commander real swiftly here and see what he can be upgraded. Agility, I think that was definitely what we we're going for. Weapon Master. Or was it writing? I think it was Weapon Master. Let's go for that and increase your one-handed strength. Yeah, because that's definitely the most important. A little bit of pull arms as well. Okay, very nice. Now, with all of that done, I think we definitely want to... Uh, we definitely want to set, set our sights upon... Uh, Pike. Set our sights, set our eyes upon Pike. I, I, I kind of want it. Ironhold. There's only 115 men in there. Shouldn't be too difficult. But Pike probably requires siege towers now, doesn't it? Um, it does. Ah, that's a problem. That's a real issue. And what is Patrick Malister doing? 
What is he doing attacking Great Wick? Interesting. Hmm. Well, Siege Towers. W wasn't there a castle currently under siege as well? Sarsfield. Alright, can I send someone to protect Sarsfield? It was John Umber. How many men can he have? Hmm. Who am I going to send? You know what? I think I'm going to send Kevan to, the, uh, to defend Sarsfield. Hopefully that's, that's going to work out. It certainly likes us quite a bit. I have a new task for you. Go to Sarsfield. I hope this is the right decision. I don't want to lose it to the north, uh, especially. Um, but I kind of, I kind of need Bale. I cannot, I cannot let King Balon escape at this point. So yeah, we'll lay siege to Pike. We'll build the siege towers, and I'll be back as soon as we uh, get to scale the walls. Seven hells, guys. Building this siege tower took ages. Like, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I probably should have checked, but I remember, I seem to remember it was like only, it, it took only two days to build the siege towers. Um, was it because, was it because Septon Edad was knocked out? Might that be the reason? Ah, uh, maybe. Well, regardless, we've built the siege tower now, but we have, we have lost two castles during that time. Uh, so Lordsport is being besieged right now. Uh, Lannisport is being besieged. And John Umber managed to not only take Sarsfield, but also the Bainford. Yes. Um, so we're definitely going to have to take that back before uh, the uh, the garrison regrows too, too, too huge. But uh, for now, I definitely want to capture Balon Greyjoy here. So this is the important thing. So we'll lead our men into an assault. And hopefully, um, yeah, we're going to take out this castle with relative ease. All right, so um, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do here, but it seems like, yeah, seems like there's a few archers waiting for us. Okay, that's not too bad. Overall, this actually does not look all too bad. Um, let's uh, tell the most of that to hold back. At least, you know, there's not a whole, there's not a whole barrage of uh, of enemy archers shooting away at us. So yeah, that's actually, you know what, that's very useful. In fact, I will have my archers. I'll tell them to get on this hill because they might be able to take out the enemies a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very glad though that uh, we get to wait in peace here without anyone disturbing us. Um, in fact, I might even get on... Uh, you know what? Have the king's got hold here. Maybe a little bit out of the way wouldn't be too bad. And uh, stranger servants as well. And I'm gonna I'm gonna check out what's, what's going on here. Uh, maybe I can see something. Okay, so a few people are being taken out. Very good, very good to see. Um, what? Ah, okay. So there's quite a few men on the top of the walls here. That's gonna be that's gonna be quite problematic. But yeah, I will. I think I will cut back as soon as the siege tower has made its way to the wall. All right, so the siege tower has dropped. Uh, there we've got uh, Father Kevan. Very nice. And I'm already making their way into the top of the walls. Great to see. In fact, yeah, the Stranger Servants, you might as well go in. Uh, I'm missing Sir Fl Oh, there he is. Yeah, I was just wondering where he might be. I've got the King's Guard. That should be enough protection for me. Um, our archers were not too useful. Septon Robin got a few kills. And wow, we are now taking heavy casualties. Uh, Ironborn Riva. So that must be that must be the enemy throwing throwing stuff. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, wow, this is, this is magnificent. Okay, we definitely got to take out these guys. That's going to be the uh, job of me and the King's Guard. Anyone else left? Alright, taking you out. I think the... Uh... Alright, so Baltasar took, took him out. Very good. Alright, so we've made it into the courtyard. At least our men did. Uh, what would be a great spot for our archers? Wow, but I got to say, Pike looks amazing. That is uh, certainly the case. Holy hell. I love it. I love it. Even the bridge? Ah, oh, perfect. So yeah, definitely, I think having our archers here is probably the best spot for them. Uh, yeah, by far. And I'm not sure how effective they are, though. Maybe a little bit, maybe, you know what? I think what I will do, I will put them over here. I think they're just going to be a little bit more effective if they're if they're here. They can, they're closer. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how we'll do it. I mean, I'm being held up. They're not, they're not pushing in. For some reason. Hmm. That is obviously not good. Definitely gonna have to check out what's going on. 
And, uh, yeah, that might take a while to get over there. Uh, they seem to be stuck. Jason Malister. Okay, they're going, they're going up now. All right, good. It was just uh, for a short moment there. All right. Now, I, I'm not sure if I should actually get over there just now. Because, I mean... Yeah, you know what? I, I don't think so. Uh, you can you can charge in. Um, I don't want to get hit. So yeah, we'll uh, let our men fight through. Although I definitely want to see this. Um, you know what? No, I'll, I'll get closer. I'll get closer. Our archers are not as effective I, as I would love them to be. Maybe it's more useful to put them into the courtyard. Well, I can't say. I think our, it's just our infantry that's going to have to do this. And uh, I'll be watching from a little bit closer. So we've just gotten another new wave of reinforcements. And I think it's time that we actually get into the action ourselves. Our men have uh, managed to, you know, create a bigger breach now. So I should be able to get in on the action. And yeah, just look at this. Look how many throwing weapons we have to uh, deal with here. Not sure what this guy is doing. Um, I guess holding the bridge. Uh, whatever. But yeah, while we're taking heavy casualties... Um, I've, um, yeah, I've sent my, uh, my Maiden Sentinels up on the, on the walls here, um, just because I think this is where they're most useful. Definitely don't want to fall off the bridge here. Certainly looks nice. Oh, yeah, oh my god, this is probably one of the nicest castles out there. But yeah, we definitely need to, oh, there's a door in there, I guess we could have used that one. But yeah, there's definitely, we definitely need to make our way in here and, uh, cut a path for our reinforcements. Then it yeah, maybe this is not the smartest idea. I mean, I'm not sure where they're going to get their reinforcements. Mm, well, come over here maybe. Oh, they've got quite a few men. Alright, well, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Maybe we can get in, on, in over here. Yeah, definitely make him stop throwing stuff. Ooh. Oh, he's, he's fierce. Alright, well, I'm gonna deal with you then. If you're not coming. Alright, very good. Okay, there's people throwing stuff at me. And... Well, I'm actually in a pretty good spot. If nobody notices me, I'm feeling good about myself. Alright, very good. Yep, they have a few really good fighters left. Uh, but so do we. We're basically the king's guard at this point. I think I'm gonna retreat though. I think I'm gonna retreat actually. Very good. I think a few of our king's guard went down, but yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to run away. Uh, and not get stuck necessarily. If that's possible. All right, let's retreat, man. Let's retreat. We have to wait for our reinforcements. Look at the king's guard bravely holding them off. So Jonathan. Oh, and there goes Sir Marlin. Okay, you know what? I, I, I have to run away. Because I don't want to take that wound. Let's uh, zigzag. That's one thing I learned from the Northerners. Don't run in a straight line. Okay, and there goes the Luke Commander. Well, bravely, uh, King's Guard withstood. I, I guess I should have waited before attacking. Uh, but I wanted to get in the action. Alright, well, I'm going to have to let our man stream in first. There's now the Battle of the Bridge. It's actually kind of cool as well. And then um, I'm going to join in a little bit later. So we're currently fighting the last few men. And I'm right at the front. Uh, it's likely that I might suffer a wound here. So I'm actually going to try and retreat a little bit. I think this archer is out to get me. And um, yeah, I mean, we basically have not a whole lot of men left fighting. I mean, we are going to get some reinforcements at some point. But I was hoping we could... We could maybe do it with the, the few men we've got here. Um, but yeah. Oh, now there goes my shield. Not very good. I gotta hide. I gotta hide. Hopefully no one's gonna, it's gonna hit me. This archer is very frustrating. Um, but yeah, we've been fighting on the on these walls for a while. And uh, we just couldn't get through, really. We just really couldn't get through. Um, I helped out a little bit. I got some kills here and there. Definitely don't want to draw this guy's attention towards me. I mean, I can... Ah, I can help out a little bit. Just don't want to get hit. Oh, wow. I actually managed somehow to jump on here. Alright, give me that shield. 
at least a little bit of protection. And then let me see how many enemies we've got in here. Alright, this looks actually pretty good. So if I can... Oh, well. I was just going to say, if I can surprise him, that would be fine. Uh, but yeah, we're now getting... Going to take out the last few men. 17 men. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe my men can attack. Maybe you guys are going to go in first. That, that wouldn't be too bad. Should I go up or down? I feel like up might... Well, I can't have... I don't have time to just stay around. Alright, this guy's dealt with. Oof! There's a nest. Oof. Oh my god, and you bastard stop throwing stuff. I could really use some help here. Alright, very good. Uh, anyone coming up? Because there's quite a few men up here. Alright, very good. <laughs> yeah, okay, let, let these two uh, get in first and then... Uh... Wait, hey, what are you doing? Get in there. Alright, very good. We uh, Together we should be able to deal with them. Alright, very nice. Okay, but there's, there's going to be more people on the top i saw blood coming from over there so who's who's fighting oh did they ah i see we've got to go outside all right let's see definitely don't want to fall off okay someone got cut down here how many men have we got left there's one enemy left it's probably up here somewhere can i get through These all seem to be going somewhere else uh, hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna try and find that last man and slay him if possible. Alright, never mind. One of our men actually managed to kill him, so very good. Very good indeed. The battle has been won. That means we've taken Pike, the ancestral seat of House Greyjoy, and perhaps we're even gonna be able to capture Balon. Now, uh, yeah, one thing that I gotta say, anyways, regardless if we capture King Balon or not, the Victorian, unfortunately, uh, managed to escape during during our siege, so... <sighs> yeah, that's frustrating. But anyways, we took some heavy casualties indeed. 22 men killed, 35 wounded, uh, and our allies probably lost a, f a lot more. Yeah, 322. I mean, luckily most of them are wounded, but still, that is pretty insane. Uh, if you consider, this is just the 300 men garrison. Wow. Uh, anyways, uh, who got the most kills? Septonra with 12 kills, Surflet with 10, Edad with four, uh, 3, Tier 4, um, uh, Kingsguard, Sir Baltasar did really well with 4 kills, very nice. Lord Commander got the most though with 7. Awesome. Well, and of course, uh, I got the most kills out of all of you uh, with 919. And, of course, Baylor managed to escape. Good darn it. Anyway, I think I'm gonna, uh, yeah, refill the army. Definitely want to take the uh, <laughs> the Unsullied here. Although he didn't, I mean, he actually did quite well last time. This outlaw leader, I think I'm gonna take. Yeah, I'll just fill up the garrison real quick. All right, so once again, I of course decided not to uh, plunder the castle, even though I very much want to. Um, but no, we're not gonna do it. So uh, at the moment, this is the current situation. We've taken Pike. Um, we. I definitely want to take Iron Holt. Uh, probably doesn't require Siege Towers. At least I don't think so. Um, but we for now need to defend Lordsport, which doesn't have a garrison due to this very nice bug. Um, so it's going to be difficult to hold, uh, well, to hold this town, especially with this big, uh, relatively sizable Ironborn army here uh, that I definitely do not want to encounter uh, on the seas because they are deadly there. Um, unfortunately, we also lost the Banefoot and Sarsfield both. Which is incredible. And Lannisport is currently under siege. As well as probably some other castle as well. Not sure where Kevan is. Uh, I, I don't know. Did Kevan join us in this siege? I don't th I, th I don't think. Oh, he is here. I see his banner. Um, so yeah. He didn't exactly do what I told him. Unfortunately. So we'll have to try and take these castles back ourselves. I would very much like to. You know. Take Ironhold in the next episode. And then uh, these two castles. And then we'll have to see. We'll probably have to go home. Um, and replenish our forces for, for, for then. But that was it for this episode. Uh, I think uh, that's fine. You guys actually let me know which castles I should attack next. As I said, um, 
I wanted to start with Pike and I want to save Wick Hall or Old Wick for last. But uh, you know what? We should. What, what, what should we do? Should we go after Hala or uh, after Great Wick or after you know one of these smaller uh, islands? You let me know in the comment section. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next time.